Good evening, everyone. Match two of the 1987 Cricket World Cup being played in India was played today. Um, it was the opening match of Group 2. It was Sri Lanka versus Kenya. Um, Sri Lanka went into this as the favourites. Obviously, the newest Test play nation still find their feet in Tests and in one day as now they're an official one regular one-day side. And this was the outcome of the match in Delhi. Um, let's show you the scorecard and the final outcome. Just, um, I think that looks all right. It doesn't look incredibly blurry, does it? Does it look blurry? This is probably going to happen quite a bit. Yep, um, Sri Lanka versus Kenya at Delhi. Kenya won the toss on a dry pitch and elected to field first, which we felt was probably the correct decision, but in other words, it may not have been the correct decision. And this is what happened. Um... 252 all out from 49.5 overs. They got off to a good start. I mean, they were 182 for four going into the 36th over, and then they lost their last seven, last six wickets for just 70 runs. In what was a little collapse towards the end of the innings, and what was a little collapse towards the end of the innings. Um, so they will be disappointed that they didn't bat out the full 50 overs, and they'll be disappointed that they didn't, that they actually. Did not bat as well as they could have. The 252 at the moment is still the highest score in this tournament. But um, let's have a look at the batting performances. 89 for wicketkeeper Brendan Karupu. 89, superb 89 of 116 deliveries for Rush, Roshan Mahanama. There's 5 for Roy Diaz. 5 for Roy Diaz. Four for, um, 24 for Ajuna Ratatunga, the star batsman. 1 for... Um, Dilip Mendes for captain. 37 for Asinka Jacina of just 39 deliveries. 42 of just 38 deliveries for Vinda de Silva. They got past for 250. 7 for um, Ravi Ranaka. 8 for Ramesh Ranaka. 1 for um, Venantan John and a duck for. And no run scored for Don Asuri. Bowling figures for the Kenyans was pretty tight. 7 for 1 for um, Colin Zubaya. Um, 2 for 41 for, for Nedem, Nedema Odbambo. Um, 2 for 30 for the captain Jimmy Kadanda. 2 for 42 for um, Peter Ogango. Very expensive. 0 for 63 for... Um, For James Enosh, Enoshe, and one for 48 for for um, a giant Elia Otieno. So Kenya did well to bowl them out for 252, but they got off to an absolute dreadful start. They lost four wickets in the first eight overs. Finnatan John was absolutely irresistible, and in the end, they just Batted for survival, really, and in the end, they were all out for 142 in just 43.4 over, 43.5 overs. One for them, um, wicketkeeper Morris Aruma. Um, seven waters got three. There was nine for them, um, Collins and Bayer. David Bayer, 52 off 100 and off 102 deliveries, and a 55 for them, um, Tammy Mishra. Of 110 deliveries, the only two batsmen to show any resistance to the Sri Lankan bowling attack. Six for Steve Tickelow. There was ducks for the captain um, Jimmy Karande and um, and Daya Umbadembo. Two not out for um, Peter Od Ogango and ducks as well for. For James, for Shem, I think it was Shem and Gosh. Was it Shem and Gosh, actually, or David and Gosh? No, it was David and Ducks for James and Gosh and um, Elia Otieno. But let's have a look at the bowling figures for um, Kenya. I mean, something special really happened today towards the end of the innings. 0 for 13 for um, 
Asanka Gunashina, one for 23 for Avinda De Silva. Um, Star Bowler, one for 19 for um, Ravi Ranaka. Ramesh Ranaka was absolutely fantastic. 10 overs, one for 18, one for 24 for Don Asuri. But have a look at those figures for Vinatan John. Six for 38, the best ever figures by a Sri Lankan bowler in one day international cricket. It, best ever figures by a Sri Lankan bowler in one day international cricket. And the last three wickets came in three balls. So, Finnatan John is the first bowler, Sri Lankan bowler, to take a hat trick in one day internationals. And the first ever bowler in World Cup cricket to take a hat trick. And it won him a Man of the Match award, not surprisingly. Final summary, as we will see again. Sri Lanka versus Kenya at um, Delhi. Kenya won the toss, selected the field first. They bowled Sri Lanka out for 252 in 49.5 overs. Kenya, the response, all out for 142 in 43.5 overs. Sri Lanka winning by an emphatic 110 runs. Man of the match for his record, 6 for 38 and a hat-trick as well. The first hat-trick in World Cup history, Vanatan John of Sri Lanka. Um, this means Sri Lanka top of Group 2, so still early days yet. Tomorrow's match is... The Rebel Safgan 11 against the West Indies. West Indies looking to win their third World Cup. And the third favourites. It's always a joy to watch West Indies. I just need to say something about um, that performance, that decision from um, Jimmy Carande. He won the toss, selected the field first on a dry pitch. He said after the match he didn't realise the pitch would dry out so quick. The pitch got worse as the game went on. It was 35 degrees in Delhi. And there was cracks all over the pitch. And as you can see, Sri Lanka struggled, struggled towards the end of their innings. And that's why they got bowled out for 252. And obviously, they lost four wickets in the first eight overs, Kenya. But let's have a look at the star players. Finnerton John, obviously not included. Maratunga, 24 with the bat. Not the most ambitious start. One wicket for um, Ravi Ranaka. An average of 19 seven with a bat, so still pretty early days yet for this tournament. What is it to see? But well done to Fernand and John. Wonderful performance. Six for 38. The first hat trick and the in World Cup cricket, the best ever figures by Sri Lankan bowler. Tomorrow's match, Rebel Safka Lev against West Indies. Can West Indies get off to a winning start and continue their winning record. It will be, I think, it'll be the third time they would have played the Rebel South Africa 11 in World Cup cricket. I'm just going to check here. And they won. They won. Just um, picking this this up. This is um, what I put in. They ended up um, being the third time that they've met in World Cup cricket. Um, West Indies played Rebel South 11 in their first ever match in the World Cup at the Oval in 1975 and they won by six wickets chasing 223 at the Oval and four years later in Sri Lanka at, at Kandy they scored 326 for six and won by 188 runs in that match so they'll be looking to keep up their magnificent record against them um, South Africa, they'll be looking to keep up their magnificent record against South Africa, the Rebel South Africa 11, and tomorrow. So, until then, this is me, Lawrence Howard, commentating on the 1987 World Cup, being played on Brian Lama Cricket on PlayStation, being played in India. For me, Lawrence Howard, we'll see you tomorrow for match three of the tournament tomorrow between the Rebel South Africa 11 and West Indies. Until then, it's bye-bye from me.